You guys, look at this. This thing got hot. I dare say this thing caught fire. Let me, let me shut it down. So as soon as I walked in this house, I, I knew what the problem was. And um, he, he had the system off. Um, and I turned, before we even went in the house, uh, I, met, I met the customer in the garage and uh, we spoke for a few minutes. I turned on the breaker so I didn't have to go back out there. And the circulation of the air, after it hadn't circulated in about a day, I smelt it right away. And um, I had a pretty good idea what the problem was. But uh, we went up, we went into the crawl space and uh, took a look. So this is what we found. All right, we got a call that the gas furnace isn't working. The thermostat's blank, but the actual fan is running. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna take a look. <laughs> but look at this condenser. Yeah, I think it's time. I wonder if a dog's been peeing on it or something. Yeah, this thing is in rough shape for sure. Oh, looks like we got a new Bosch. This one was probably gonna be the next one to go. So, all right, let's get in this crawl space. We'll see what's going right, on. You guys, I can smell carbon monoxide in here. It's like a sooted up heat exchanger or something. So I just brought the carbon monoxide detector in here. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up because it's actually not burning anymore, but I have a feeling we have a clogged heat exchanger here because that's what it smells like to me. So we're gonna make our way over there to the furnace. But. All right, let's get over there. You guys, look at this. This thing got hot. I dare say this thing caught fire. Let me, let me shut it down. As soon as I walked in the homeowner's house, I smelled. Where's the kill switch for this thing? Well, this is pretty work. There's not even a kill switch here. Kind of see a service room. There's not even a disconnect underneath here. That's crazy. We'll take this door off. Okay, let me see the drill. As soon as I walked in the house, I smelt it. And I mentioned it to the homeowner. I said, I said it smells like gas in here. Um, and he agreed. But he had turned, he had turned the breaker off because he had, um, because it wasn't working anyway. Now, what's weird to me is the thermostat was blank. So for one, I'm wondering how the thermostat's blank, but for two, this thing is in rough shape. Look at look how hot that got. That melted the sight glass. I've never seen that happen before. All right, yeah, you can see the heat exchanger is all sooted up in there. I'm trying to get a good shot of it in there, but this, um, the other side of the, the door, look at that, that's just melted. Yeah, this thing, this thing's trash. We're not even going to attempt to put a heat exchanger in this. I'm still curious how the thermostat went blank though, but yet the blower was still running. Something weird happened there. But I'm very surprised that, uh, if he does have a carbon monoxide detector, one did not go off. And I understand it's not making carbon monoxide right now, but um, while this thing was running, it probably should have been. We're gonna take uh we're gonna try to take a panel off here, see if we can actually get to the heat exchanger. I don't think we can really see much from here. Because it's probably the secondary heat exchanger. That's called Okay. 
but it's sooted up pretty heavily. Yeah, there must have been significant flame roll out here. Look at it all charred in there. I don't, I don't even need to, and look how hot it got right here. I don't need to pull the all this off. I've seen enough. This this furnace is done for. I am curious how the hell it uh. Why the thermostat was blank though, unless something's up with this board. We're gonna check that out. All right. Well, this rollout switch is probably tripped. That's why we have no 24 volts. But um, the blower's still running. So let's listen to see if this switch clicks. Yep. So that rollout switch was tripped because of all the flame rollout out of here. So, um, so yeah, we're not going to take any chances with this guy here. We're going to completely disable it, turn the gas off, and we're going to pull W off of the furnace control board. So there's no possible way this thing will run. And then we'll get, uh, We'll get this over to the sales department and let them sell them a new furnace. That's the way our company works here. Um, I mean, I could I could sell the guy a furnace, but um, our sales department is a whole lot better at it than I am. So, looks like he's got a little bit of a drainage issue here. I'm not sure where all this water came from, but this is an encapsulated crawl space, but we have a lot of water right here. So, possibly look into that also. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. I've never actually seen this happen before where it melted the sight glass. <laughs> yeah, I knew that when the rollout switch opens or a limit opens, it kills 24 volts on R. Um, I just had forgot it in, in the moment. So, uh, but yeah, that, that was the reason why our thermostat was blank and our fan was running. When a limit switch opens, it, it it runs the fan and it kills 24 volts. So that's why that happened. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get him a new furnace, probably get him a Bosch, um, Bosch gas furnace in there, Bosch coil with a Bosch heat pump. And uh, so he'll have a nice dual fuel system in there. But uh, yeah, guys, that's crazy. I've never actually seen one melt that little sight glass. I can see how it's possible. I've just never seen it happen before. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Catch you on the next one.